Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose playing Project Zomboid version 34.28. We have just hit the first day of uh, being able to harvest our kabajis. So I just wanted to show how much time passed. I think we were on day 7 of month 1, so that's about 10 days. So that's even better than uh, what was proposed by this little info, infographic here. So average, ta average time of growth um, is 13 days. Average time of grow. Um, yeah, so looks like the average time is uh, kind of an error of negative or plus 3 or 4 days. So yeah, so it only took 10 days of being fully watered uh, to grow to a to the point where I could get seeds from from the cabbages. So uh, you can see here that I've got 124 seeds. I think I only had like seven before I harvested, and I was able to get 41 cabbages. So that's quite a bit of food to process uh, with cooking. So uh, what you're going to see in this video, and it's going to be shorter, it's not going to be a full episode, but I'm going to replant the cabbages as well as fill up the rest of the um, plots here. These are uh, the, the three stages, each a day apart. You know, actually I think it's a little bit more important that we read the book, but let me, um, let me just do uh, what? Let me just uh, focus on this first, because you guys don't want to sit there and watch me read a book. So I'm going to go ahead and plant them. And when, when you have lower level farming, you don't get any information regarding how much water is in it. You'll get like this water level parched thing. So as before, a single full uh, watering can can water two. So I'm just going to do four at a time. It's easy if you just uh, equip the watering can. That way you don't have to go through the different selections like your water bottles. Water it to full. And the indicator should change from parched to well watered. There we go. And fill up this watering can. And because we're getting 10 units of um, of water every time we pull from the um, the barrel, we can do about I think 20. Yeah, 20 plots. So we definitely have enough water and. Um, yeah, enough seeds to fill up this whole thing. Every time the watering can uh, is emptied, it gets removed from your uh, equipped. It's kind of how you know it's time to fill up. But it's just in twos, so it's not too bad. I wonder if uh, a bucket would be better. I think there is a bucket in there, so I can do some testing with that. So that... uh verify. There's actually a bucket on the ground. So let's uh let's get a bucket instead. Let's see how many we can do. We had a uh, NPC gun go off, so we had a couple of friends up here. Let's get that bucket. Let's fill up our bucket and see. So we're starting off with 66% uh, of the uh, the barrel being full. Looks like it's taking a lot longer to fill up. 66, so another, like I guess, 8%. It looks like the bucket may not be as good. Just check to see if I watered this. I haven't yet. Bucket of water to equip and then let's see yeah so the watering can is actually the better container for um, <laughs> watering plants go figure let's 
Just eat one of my freshly made cabbages here. Mmm, delish. Nothing like roof grown cabbages to get your blood going. Alright, I'm just gonna fill this watering cup or watering uh watering can up again. Okay. Selling the cabbages. So when you're grinding, I think it'd be beneficial to have multiple watering cans. Like my idea of having to collect all the watering cans I can find is actually a viable one while grinding so you don't have to keep going back and forth. And you're pretty much completely over overburdened anyways, so it doesn't matter if you're holding four. Just, just know that you can do twice as many plots as you have watering cans. Speed up time, we're safe up here. Alright, so we got a good amount of cabbages ready for us. Fill the watering can and then drop it. That way I'm conserving space in the barrel in case it rains again. Let's see how much we have left. Only 21%. Okay, so these uh, these plots are ready. Now all we have to do is grind out cooking. I think this is going to be a short short explanation because I think we're like very close to uh, getting to the next level. So I got all the frying pans I can, and I've got a ton of cabbages on me right now. So the way I like to do it is you do create stir fry. And what it will do, it will, it will rename the frying pan. So you just do the first one. It's pretty simple. Just prepare. Just keep preparing. And you'll do the first one of the list of frying pans with each click. Now if you want to go for a decent meal, you want to have an assortment of different foods, but because we're just grinding here, yep, we've already hit cooking. So um, what I won't show because I, I want to uh, conserve the amount of food I have, but I need to go read both the farming and cooking book right now so that um, I can get as much XP from the from the actions I do as, as much XP as possible. But um, yeah, just preparing food. Just just put in everything you can into each stir, uh, each, each um, frying pan that you have, and then when you cook it, um, I can uh, I'll, I'll do it later. When you cook it, you then get another bonus on top of that. So yeah, just uh, prepare meals. That gives you XP, and then once you hit a threshold, read a book, and uh, keep on going. Uh, the last thing I want to show is I think I might have found the best way to build up uh, build up fitness, and uh, it's kind of hokey, but um, I would imagine that it's preferable to running. So I've been doing the sprinting training. As you can see, I'm almost to like level three in sprinting, just doing those laps that I showed in the last episode. Uh, unfortunately, though. After a day of sprinting, my fitness would only go up by 10 points. And if I'm trying to get to a 6,000, that's going to take a long time. Um, today I started my fitness out at two, 2017. And as you can see, I've already, I've already grown my fitness up by 70 points today. Um, I noticed that I gained a lot of fitness by killing zombies. And um, I was I realized I was getting a lot of fitness when I was chopping down trees. So I just thought I would try, you know, maybe just swinging an axe is uh, a way to do it. And if and if you don't, so here we go. We got two hundred two two thousand eighty six. So I'm going to start swinging the axe, and then I'm going to speed up time. It looks ridiculous. You can see my endurance is is going down really fast. Just give it another hour of doing this. 
So it was at 2,086. As you can see, that is a huge, I mean, it's not huge, but I'm not wasting the axe. Like, the axe is not getting damaged from being swung. And the only thing that I'm losing is my endurance, but if I'm in a safe place, that's not too bad. Uh, and I was able to gain another, looks like, um, 60 points with just, like, what, 5 seconds of fast-forwarding time? So... While cheesy and <laughs> and silly looking, uh, I I can't help but think that that's the best way to gain fitness without using up any other resources other than you being tired. So that's that's it. So that's what I'll be doing um, as I build fitness. Uh, still continue doing my sprinting. I'm going to try to get to around level four sprinting. Anything higher than that would just take way too long. Um, let's see what day we're on. Yeah, so it's just been 10, uh, 10 11 days since uh, I last created a video. All right, well, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my grinding progress, and you'll see that um, these will, uh, the farming and cooking will start going up as uh, the farm starts to finish. But um, we have, uh, looks, like, looks like five more cabbages. Oh, and just to let you know, four cabbages were right, was right on the dot for the first level. So we're probably going to need a lot more cabbages, and um, yeah, and given the fact that it only takes 10 days to grow, we'll probably be done within a month or so. And because of all this stuff I'm doing in terms of like running and swinging an axe like a moron, um, you take a lot of time. Uh, the days are a lot shorter in terms of your resting, so you can fast forward through the days for a lot quicker. So a month may seem like a long time, but when you're grinding like this, it's not too bad. The only concerns, of course, are, are food, which I am um, kind of through all the chips and uh, cereals. I think I have a mac and cheese here. But now that you're harvesting your own food, you can eat ca key cabbages straight, and uh, that gives you at least some nourishment uh, while you do the grinding. So there's really no need to loot at this point in time. Uh, that's about it. All right, any questions you guys might have, please leave a comment uh, if you feel... feel uh, you wish to subscribe, please subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. This is Johnny O'Neill's playing Project Zomboid version 34.28.